Mulachik and welcome to this video and in this video I want to talk about this. Okay, so what I have here is one of the Microsoft Surface Pro devices. As you may have been following my videos, you may have seen I have quite a few videos about a Microsoft Surface Pro um, 5 and 4 and 3 and so mostly focusing on the performance of Adobe software on these devices because I'm an Adobe certified instructor and I deliver Adobe certified training uh, more details on my website <laughs> and this is uh, Microsoft Surface Pro 6 so I want to tell you a bit more about this machine here and share some performance benchmarks uh, between Surface Pro 6, this one here, and Surface Pro 5. Because as you probably know, as you've been looking at, there's, there's pretty much nothing different in the looks of Surface Pro 5 and Surface Pro 6, this newer one here. However, there's a newer processor, so this one is the Surface Pro 6 with the Intel i7 quad-core processor, where before I had the Surface Pro 5, which had the Intel i7 dual core processor. So this was one of the main reasons why I bought the Surface Pro 6, when I, why I upgraded, because to get a quad core processor instead of dual core processor, which should make a difference in, especially After Effects, but also in Premiere Pro, potentially. So I've been running some tests on Surface Pro 5 and Surface Pro 6, in Premiere Pro and After Effects and I want to share that with you right now. So let's have a look at the performance test of Surface Pro 5 and 6. Here are the tests I've been performing here. So I've got a folder here and I've got these six subfolders in here. So first what I did was uh, this, oops, uh, this one here. So first, I would export from Premiere. So I had this uh, quite a simple project here. Premiere for them is interesting. If I just open it here, and that's the project. Let's just accept the default. And I would export it using both uh, uh, Surface Pro 5 and Surface Pro 6, these here. So it's just a simple export, so we just do file export and just export as a standard H.264 MP4 file with the default setting, which is the uh, high bitrate, match settings uh, high bitrate. So I wouldn't change anything in here, so as it is, okay. And these are the results. With Surface Pro 5 and Surface Pro 6. Okay, next I would do rendering slow motion in Premiere. So if I go back to Premiere and show you what I did here. So if I just open a project and I'll go to folder number two. Actually, I've got it here. If I go to open a project for these purposes here. So for the project here, performance test, and this one has this video with the slow motion called drive to basket. This one here. And I've got this section here for the slow motion, which I have rendered already, okay? It's just uh, five seconds render. This has been rendered already as I'm recording it. And these are the results for uh, rendering this here on Surface Pro 5 and Surface Pro 6. Next test was tracking a mask. So I've got this Mercedes masking video here. Okay. If I go to the effect controls, we've got a mask here. On the license plate which will be tracked 
the same project, the same files, two different uh, machines. And these are the results from Surface Pro 5 and Surface Pro 6. Okay, the next one is rotoscoping in After Effects. Okay, so if I just minimize that and open After Effects, I've got a After Effects file here as well called Performance Test, and I've got a Roto folder here with the videos. Okay, so if I just open this uh, Performance Test AEP file, <coughs> I'll run a test on it. And then I'll show you the results. If I just open this project in here, so if I go to the same location, and I'll put this After Effects uh, project file here, the performance test. And what we're doing first is we're rotoscoping the Roto 2 video uh, for five seconds as well. Five second uh, rotor. And I'm also going to do content aware, content aware fill in After Effects. So if I open Roto AE, actually I've got them here already. So this is the Roto 2 background, five seconds long comp, and we're rotoscoping this Roto 2 layer. Okay. This is the selection already. So it's just the rotoscoping rendering propagating these five seconds. And these are the results. So next we've got content aware. So if I just close the layer panel and go to content aware 2, comp in here, and we had this car in here which we removed and this is a also five second long comp so as you can see the car is gone completely both surface pro 5 and surface pro 6 did exactly the same job in terms of the result because we're using the same version of after effects but here are the results of the content of fill Okay, tracking, the track car. Again, we've got a five second track in here. So if I go to track car comp, we've got this car in here, which we would track using the tracking panel. So if I go down here to the tracking panel, would we'll track motion for this car. And here are the results. Okay, sending clip from Premiere to After Effects, the Mercedes clip. So back in Premiere, on the Mercedes clip, I would just right click on this clip and I would replace it with After Effects composition. And I was measuring how long it takes for this clip to be sent to After Effects, open After Effects, it wasn't running in the background, and then ask you to save this project, okay? And then finally, rendering frames in 3D in After Effects, just two seconds to make it quicker. So if I go back to After Effects here, just close that. <coughs> and back here in After Effects, we've got this space comp, just two seconds with 3D camera. It's moving farther away. So it's coming closer, okay? And we're rendering these two seconds on this composition. And here are the results. Okay, so these are the results of these tests that we performed here. I've got them here in Notepad as well. And I don't know about you, but I'm a bit confused. Because as you can see from these tests on these two machines, the only test where Surface Pro 6 was better was rendering frames in 3D. And yes, quite a big improvement. I'd say about 40% faster. That's a lot. But when I look at the rest, 
no improvement or it takes even a bit longer you know this gets me thinking if i knew this earlier because you know i now sold cephas pro 5 and uh, i got cephas pro 6 straight away and performed these tests i'm not sure if it was well, well from the point of per of performance test I would say that it uh, may not be an advantage to upgrade to Surface Pro 6 for Premiere and After Effects for most of these stuff in here. One thing the Surface Pro 6 is much better than Surface Pro 5 is the battery life. That's where we see a huge improvement. That really is a big improvement, really. It lasts ooh, many, many hours. Okay, But for Premiere After Effects, I don't know. <laughs> strange, really strange. You know, we're talking about two different generations of processors and dual core versus quad core. And there's hardly any improvement here. Okay. Let me know what you think. Let me know your thoughts in the comments uh, below. I'm happy to answer any questions. Uh, let me know if you have, if you've done anything like that in the performance tests. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this uh, performance test uh, comparison between Surface Pro 6 and 5. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any comments. Please subscribe if you haven't already, if you enjoyed these videos and there will be some more. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I'll reply to all the comments uh, with any questions uh, about the Surface Pro 6 or Surface Pro 5 or Surface Pro 4 and so on. So thank you for watching. I'm Marek Mularczyk from markmolarchi.com thank you for watching and from photovideobit.com so please visit my blog as photovideobit.com the link will be at the bottom and thank you for watching and hopefully see you soon thank you bye bye for now